Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Memories Dogma Code 01. If you missed the last episode, you can click on the eye on top of the video to watch previous episodes. Get caught up. The men don't even glance my way and continue silently rolling the stretcher along. My voice comes out hoarse and raspy. Even then, I try and shout as loudly as possible. But no one as much as blinks. My voice echoes down the hallway, eventually fading in, leaving only the noise of footsteps and wheels remaining. This is not good. I try and remember what happened before I passed out. Was that really Aoi's son I saw holding a gun with trembling hands? Yes. No, there's no mistaking that it was her, but I still can't believe this is all real. Where's Reyna? Did she manage to run away while they were busy with me? I doubt it. Or did she also? As usual, they don't respond. Eventually, the stretcher I'm on finally stops. When I look over, I see that we've stopped before a huge door. The two guys in front open the door. It lets out a heavy, deep creaking noise as it opens. The opening looks like the gaping maw of a terrible monster or a portal to another world. Once the door opens fully, the stretcher starts moving again. Past the doorway is... What? From the looks of it, some kind of laboratory. Oh no, an operating table? The large light fixture in the center of the ceiling makes it look more like a hospital room than a lab though. There's nothing directly beneath the light except for the cold hard floor. Well, I guess I should say nothing directly beneath it right now. Traces of red liquid stain the floor as if marking the entrance to some pop bottomless swamp. And then... The men roll my stretcher there, directly underneath the light. Huh. There's a massive metal ventilator in the corner of the room. The ventilator is giving off a metallic whir and I can feel air flowing from it. The men in white lab coats who brought me here all gather around me and stare at me emotionlessly. Hmm... Did they take Reyna to a room like this too? I think so. Their expressions don't change and their mouths remain shut. Yeah. I feel an indescribable sense of dread and ask again louder this time. I recognize that voice. It's the voice I heard while on the way to see Saran on the Connect Center. I've seen his face before too on the news answering the press's questions. Baroda Renjuro. The contraption I'm strapped down on starts to raise itself up and puts my upper body into a sitting position. Hmm. I don't like this guy. Nope, not one bit. Doesn't seem trustworthy at all. There's a huge AR display with Kuroda on it right in front of me. He's sitting on an armchair with his legs crossed, a faint smile on his face. Well, that sucks. Well, hold on a second. Is he on a monitor or is he actually uh, in front of me? Hmm. Okay, that answered my question. Roda uncrosses his legs and leans forward. Unable to hide his glee, the corners of his lips curl upwards slightly. He's examining me like you would a prize. That glint in his eyes is the one he had when he told the news to capture me. So this is what man known as Kuroda is really like. Reyna, 
そんなに慌てなくともいずれ折笠君とは合わせてあげよう。So that means Kuroda managed to capture her too. He said he'd let me see her, but that doesn't mean she's still alive. He didn't say you would get to see her alive after all. Oh no. Don't tell me Reina's already dead. The mere thought shows me to the bone. Reina, ni nani ka shita ra? Anta o korosu. Trying to shake off my knees, I threaten Kuroda. Depending on how he answers, I might be able to glean some information on whether or not Reina is safe. However, Kuroda doesn't even seem phased by my threat at all. Ha ha ha! Iso sano ise! Yahari ko de na kute wa na. Kuroda leans back in his chair and smiles as he crosses his legs once more. I get even more pissed seeing how smug he'd look right now. If I can just get these belts off. <laughs> I desperately struggle against my restraints, but they don't budge an inch. Oh. I try and clearly imagine the sensation of power gathering within my body. If I can just use my power, then I. <laughs> However, no matter how hard I struggle, I can't even bring forth an ounce of that power. The stretcher thing that I'm on just rattles loudly as it shakes. <laughs> Rhoda looks at me pityingly, pit pityingly, through the AR display. Right, like Sigma was under your protection. Rhoda closes his eyes for a moment, looking amazed that I actually haven't figured it out yet. I know he's just trying to provoke me, but every single thing that bastard does irks me to no end. Connect center de Mizunashi Sorano kun no kyoku data o mochida so to shita ano hi. Kimi to Orikasa kun wa jidiki de dashit shita to omotte iru yoo da ga. Hmm. So, the question is right now where is everybody else? Like, where's the other police officers? The detectives? Um, you know, the, uh, the other two girls? Um, I mean, where, where are they? Where, where are they? <laughs> Kuroda's words, something finally clicks in my head. All of these disparate phenomena start connecting themselves in my mind, leading me to a single conclusion. <gasps> my whole body starts to tremble, my heart starts to beat faster. Seeing me finally connect the dots, Kuroda smiles smugly again. So, Oh, how? Kimino <laughs> Interesting. I recall the events of that night.
Back then, Sigma tried to kill me without any hesitation. The sensation of his blade piercing my stomach is still fresh in my mind. I taste of blood filling my mouth. And then my consciousness growing dim. はは、それがどうだい。なんと彼女はなんと、彼女はなんと、彼女はなんと、彼女はなんと、彼女はなんと、彼女はなんと、彼女はなんと、彼女はなんと、彼女はなんと、彼女はなんと、彼女はなんと
but the fact that Kakeru was shot and gravely injured wasn't a coincidence either. Everything was planned by the man sitting in front of me. <laughs> anger causes my blood to start boiling. I let my anger take control and struggle again with all my might. <laughs> I struggle against my restraints with all my might. If I can get them to loosen up just a bit, if I can just get even one of them to snap. However, even that faint hope is crushed. Eventually, I expend all of my energy and stop struggling. I examine the belts holding me down again. Not a single one has budged. I want my power come out. If I can't use it now, when I need it most, what's the point of having it at all? The reason we were able to escape our pursuers, the reason we were able to beat Sigma was all because Reina, Kakeru, and everyone else racked their brains and worked together to find a solution. Or at least that's what I believed until just now.君のことも悪いようにはしない。はい。こんな風に拘束してみんなを傷つけておいて。何を今さら大切にするって言うんだ。まあ、待て。最後まで私の話を聞きなさい。もし君が私に賛同してくれるのなら。即座に君の拘束を解こうじゃないか。そんな見えすぎた嘘を信じるとでも思ってるのか。I feel like an idiot for even reporting to such a stupid comment. 君もここ数日経験して感じたと思うが、他人と大きく違う性質を持っている人間は生きづらいものだ。Brody raises off feelings from his expression. 例えば。君はまだ子育ての経験はないだろうが子供の発達には年齢ごとに様々な基準が決められそこからはみ出してしまうとある種の障害という楽園をいやおうなしに押されそしてはみ出した部分をより平らにして通常の範囲に近づけるように仕向